Hi guys, welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. It's been a while since I've done a haul video because to be honest, I really don't want to be a part of this like YouTube machine that just like pushes you guys to purchase things and makes it seem normal to just buy like tons of crap all the time. So I've been considering that quite a bit and that's the reason why I haven't done a lot of haul type stuff, but at the same time, I do really love to talk about ethical fashion and I love to talk about books and those are the things that I spend all of my money on. And so if you were to be inspired to buy a couple of these things, these are things that really make the world a better place, so I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay, so let's get into some fashion. This actually ended up kind of not working out super well. Um, I was looking for a red shirt because there have been several groups of teachers going on strike and we always like to wear red to support them, especially the LA teachers. They're just a couple miles down the road and I wanted to wear red to support them. And I have a lot of like this color of red, like kind of like more maroon, but I wanted something a little bit like brighter red just to make it really obvious like red for Ed. So I was thinking, all right, if I'm gonna buy a new t-shirt, I wanna buy it from Elegant Tees because they're a fair trade company. They employ women who have been rescued out of sex trafficking and they give them an opportunity to learn new skills and build a better life for themselves and they use ethically sourced products and you know all that so I'm like if I'm gonna buy a t-shirt I want it to be that so I went on their website and I saw this one and it was very very cute it's kind of like a three-quarter length top with this really cute tie in the front I thought that was awesome it looked a little bit more red red on the website though and then I got it and it's the color that I have so much of already <laughs> So just be warned if you're looking at this on the site, it's a little bit more of like a maroon color, but that's okay. It's still really cute and it fits really nicely. It's really soft. I love this little knot at the front. And honestly, I, I like this color. Like I think this color suits me a lot better than a bright red anyway. So I'm just gonna wear maroon red for Ed. I'm also going to be partnering with Elegant Tees on one of their blog posts. So they sent me a free item that I could take pictures in and then they did like a little interview and I'll get to be on their blog, so that's really exciting. And the piece that I chose to receive is this really cute black and white striped tunic. I love wearing tunic tops to work. I love anything that's like extra long that I can just wear like with jeans. I love this round hem and then it has kind of like uh, gathered shoulders and I just love anything with like black and white stripes. So I think this is super adorable. I've got to take some pictures in it soon here and send them over to them and then I will link below the blog post and you can see that one and then a bunch of other women who love wearing fair trade elegant tees pieces. It's cool to see how different people style them. So I'm excited to kind of work with this one a little bit. I love stripes. I love stripes and tunics. Another top that I got kind of like for spring, I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because it's still kind of gloomy around here, is this one from Nelly Taft and they make all of their clothing here in the United States. They have a really cool company and kind of just like a really cute aesthetic to all their t-shirts. So I love this. I love the rainbow. It kind of reminds me of the manicure that I got couple weeks ago. I loved my rainbow manicure. I wanted to take a picture wearing this with that manicure, but I forgot. <laughs> this one will be perfect when it's a little bit more like sunny and warm outside. I think this would be really cute with like white jeans and sandals, maybe a jean jacket. So looking forward to wearing this one. And I'll link these stores below. That one was Nelly Taft and then um, Elegant Tees. I got one more really pretty ethical fashion piece that I haven't even opened yet. Actually, I just opened like the shipping packaging, but look, how this comes isn't this so nice these are leggings from girlfriend collective and back when they had like a Kickstarter I paid 20 bucks and got some of their first leggings their leggings are made out of recycled water bottles in a fair trade factory I believe it's in Vietnam and they're just doing amazing things with their company I love them and their size range is the most diverse I've ever seen if you go on their website and look at all of their options for sizing every person on the planet can find something that fits them. So I really love that about them too. And then now they come in these just like really cute little bags. And I have black leggings already. And then I actually ordered a pair for a friend of mine who was sick and in the hospital and not feeling well. And I was like, super soft, amazing leggings would be really nice for recovery. So I ordered some for her and then like they shipped to me and I just, I took a peek at them and the packaging were so nice and they were so soft. I was like, okay, I'm getting some for myself too. So actually this is the first time I'm opening them up. 
I got this blue color and since our school colors are blue I thought this would come in handy for like volleyball season I never buy anything but black leggings I don't really like patterns or anything but um, I just thought these would be useful for school they're so nice and thick and they're so soft it's made up of 79% recycled polyester and 21% spandex and as soft as a baby panda hug <laughs> made from recycled post-consumer water bottles this fabric molds to your shape the more you wear it I got mine in a medium and then I think it was like the 19.5 inch length because I'm really short and I wanted some like capri length ones. So you can do all different sizes and lengths and even like um, thicknesses I think now too. So I haven't worn these yet but I will definitely review them more for you probably over on Instagram when I get a chance to wear them. The last clothing item is the only one that is not fair trade as far as I know but look at this t-shirt I had to get this I saw this on Instagram it says Native American history didn't begin in 1492 I love this I want to wear this like every day to school or when I'm filming videos or whatever like when I'm doing videos on Native American history so this is definitely something I will wear often and just a great reminder that this country was full of so many diverse people before any Europeans got here. We had so many different languages, so many different cultures, so many different governments. There were many, many nations and they all have their own distinct histories and we need to be learning about them when we learn about American history. So excited about this one. Okay, that's all the clothes. I've got some fun new books to show you also. This one I pre-ordered a while ago and then I kind of forgot, you know, when it came. I love when that happens. This one's called An Edited Life by Anna Newton. She's one of the YouTubers that I've been watching for years, probably like five or six years. And she currently does a lot with like minimalist style and she always does like seasonal capsule wardrobes. And she's one of the YouTubers that I do admire and respect because she's not always doing haul videos like this, not always talking about you know, just consuming and buying and buying. She is an advocate for simplifying things and kind of editing things down to just the things that really fit your style and your personality and your lifestyle and just work for you. So this book is pretty long. It's got a lot in it. It looks really pretty on the inside. I, I do love the cover as well. It's a hard cover and then it has like this marble on the inside. So if you watch her videos, then this just makes a lot of sense like this is right on brand for her so this will be a fun one to kind of like keep in the living room and just read through when i have a few minutes this was another one that i pre-ordered and it showed up and i was like ah great thank you me from the past this is angie thomas's second book she also wrote they hate you give and this one's called on the come up i have avoided too many like spoilers or reviews or anything about it i just kind of want to read it on my own so i don't know a lot about it yet but it's pretty long I've got to read it quickly though because I have a bunch of students that want to read it next so I have to read it and then get it on my shelf this is another young adult novel that like several people have kind of recommended to me over the past few months and I got you know like my 10th recommendation I was like okay let me just order this one this one's the poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo and this one is written in verse wow some of the pages are just really creative and the style is really different I haven't read much of it at all I'm excited for such a unique book and a different book so this is another one I gotta read these two as quick as I can and then get them up on my bookshelf in my classroom this is another one that I ordered the other day on Instagram we had a lot of conversation about Dr. Seuss's racist past. He dressed in blackface. He based a lot of his characters on a lot of really racist tropes. You can find information online about this. The Conscious Kid has written some great articles, but the Seuss Foundation themselves really tries to hide a lot of this information. And so if you have never heard about that, it's because they have made sure that you don't. But this book by Philip Nell was The Cat in the Hat Black, The Hidden Racism of Children's Literature and the Need for Diverse Books. I believe was one of the first to really tackle the racism of Dr. Seuss books and others, I'm assuming. I really don't work with a lot of children's books in my own personal classroom and all of Jensen's books are very diverse. That's just something that was important to me anyway, but I just want to know more about this topic because this is probably one of the most controversial topics that I've 
mentioned on Instagram or YouTube or at least one of the things that got like the most pushback. A lot of educators were really, really upset uh, at me for sharing that information with them and suggesting that Dr. Seuss is anything but amazing. So I just wanted to have a little bit more research in my back pocket on this topic. So if you are an educator who does use a lot of children's literature, this is probably a good thing to read. This was another Instagram recommendation that I saw the other day and as soon as I saw it, Put it right into my Amazon cart. This is a graphic novel of the life of Frederick Douglass. I absolutely love Frederick Douglass's writing and sometimes it can just be a little bit hard to translate like, my love for it into my classroom and really make it come alive to students. But his writing is so important, his story is so important, so if there's anything I can do to package it in a way that more middle school students are interested, I'm willing to do that. So this is another one that I'll probably bring this to my classroom and just read through it a little bit there and then make it available to students. Lastly, this is another one that I pre-ordered a while back and it showed up to my delight. This one is Rethinking Ethnic Studies and it's a Rethinking Schools publication. I really like the work that Rethinking Schools comes out with, and ethnic studies is a topic that's really important to me. Um, there's a coalition that was formed really recently in California to write lessons and curriculum for California teachers on ethnic studies, I think at the high school level. Um, and I was going to apply to be on it, but you'd have to go to Sacramento pretty often to work on this project. And as much as like my heart just wants to do those things so badly, I have a two year old and it, it is just difficult. So I had to, you know, kind of stop myself from filling out that application even though I really wanted to. But that doesn't mean I can't learn more and educate myself more. So this is like my professional development book that I'll be reading maybe over the next like year or so because this one is is pretty thick but I feel like this will be a great resource to have for my teaching. Oh, and I just recognized Wayne Au is one of the authors. He was one of my professors in college. Oh, that's so interesting. And I remember that he used a lot of Rethinking Schools publications in that class. I can't remember what the class was called, but it was like multicultural education or something like that. And he was great and he did such a good job opening the eyes of so many mostly white, idealistic, Southern California wannabe teachers as we entered the credential program and just really helped us see like our own biases. And that was back in like, I probably took that class in like 2007, 2008. And I'm really thankful for my um, credential program at Cal State Fullerton because we were talking about these issues 10 years ago. And there are so many things that will like pop up on like, Instagram or Twitter in the teacher community that people are like just realizing or like this is new information and I'm like that was always in my training like since the beginning that's always been on my mind because I had such great professors and such great training right out the gate. So yeah I'm very excited about this especially now that I see that my old professor is one of the authors. That's amazing. Okay, that is everything. So again, that disclaimer, don't feel like you have to buy any of these things, but if you are in the market for teaching books or young adult books or ethical clothing, these are just some resources that I want to make available to you. Things that I've found that I really like. So I will link everything that I can find down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great three day weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.